Oh, there's the jump scare guy. I saw that broken window and I was like, hmm. His eyes are open. Damn it. So, right now, I'm going to assume that those two guards are permanently going to stay at the, uh, let me move my notebook. Uh, so right now I have to assume that the two guards that were at the exit are permanently distracted by the gas? While this guy over here probably has to get distracted by... something in general. I wish we could throw a rock or something, you know, pick up a pebble and make our way through, but we can't. Cause that'd be great! Ugh. Alright, we have six points available. I could go for another level in investigation. Which would max us out and maybe actually allow us to start opening locks. It also helps with the past events thing. I'm maxing out investigation, because I'm- I'm tired of failing... ...pick locks. If I'm gonna fail a pick lock... ...I at least wanna know- oh, it's literally not possible to open it. It's no use. The padlock won't give. Ah, uh, he's not even gonna try again now that I've leveled up. That's fine, whatever. Okay. So I need to do something. Uh, I wish I could make saves here. But I can't. Oh well, we're just gonna have to accept our- our mortality as a human. There could also be another way into the room. I'm hoping that that's it. We're gonna- we're gonna investigate something. Now that I know that the guy over here doesn't patrol this, or like, doesn't go all the way down here, I'm gonna sneak by him. And see if maybe I can get underneath these vents. It's not happening. Looks like there's another medicine thing in there, though. Hmm, I really don't want to piss off anybody. Because obviously, the greatest intention for someone is to try to stay alive. That's my biggest goal. I want to live. I don't want to get attacked by a guard and stabbed or put away in my room and fail. Because I know what's going to happen. We're going to go into the... We're going to go into the... Loading screen. We're going to come back and we're just going to have to do it over again. And that's not very exciting to me. But I think we're just gonna have to give it a try. I'm gonna grab this medicine book, 
get a checkpoint, and then I'm gonna see if I can try and run around and get that guy's attention. Because that's the only way I can imagine being able to get into that room. Alright, the controversial practice of bleeding is still exercised today. This book explains in minute details of the different methods as well as the instruments required. These methods are outdated, not very effective, and it is to be hoped that the reading of such a work is purely for historical purposes. But I got... more medicine practice here. I wish he was one of those stereotypical guards who's like, his eyes are closed on the job, he's just fucking sleeping or something, but no, he's fucking sitting here, sitting here whistling, doing a damn good job, he's not like any of these other guys, any of these other schmucks, who's just patrolling around, constantly missing me. No, he has to be the one guy who's staring at the door that I want to open. I don't even need it to escape. It's purely for the sake of, of, of science, for, for discovering and testing out our hypothesis. So fuck it, I guess. Who's there? Hmm. And does he just go back to the fucking wall? He goes right back to it. Alright viewers. This is a perfect time to find out what happens. So if I run, he's not hearing us run. That's very intriguing. I'll go take a look. Where the fuck is he going? Okay, he's coming back. Oi! Over here! Ay 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 ay! If they told me a method in which I could distract people this would be a wholly different story. If this were like, oh, just throw a rock down the hallway and distract him that way, I'd go, sure, I'm all for it. But it's not that. I can get like five inches away from him and nothing happens. Okay, I'm in! Thank God! I mean, not that I want to be in this room specifically, because holy shit, but I finally distracted the guy enough that he just super wandered off. He ain't coming in here because this is a mess. Jesus. You gotta be kidding me. It's not letting me pull the switch. Okay, fine. Let me look at things here. I'm not really discovering any information. I'm just kind of in a room with a ton of body parts and people. Which I can't really d 
do anything with. I can only be like, oh, this is a creepy room. And now the guard's back in front of the door, so fuck me, I guess. Well, at least he doesn't close the door. Okay, so here we have the switch. I went through all of that effort to activate or to come in here so I could pull the switch and activate the machine. But for some reason, I can't pull the switch. There's no indicator here. There's nothing that makes my character say, ah, oh, yes. I must need to do this in order to activate the switch. Nothing. So I don't know what to do about that. I'm gonna Who's bolt. There? This way. <laughs> I just said, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get myself trapped in that room if it's not even gonna let me pull the switch. Hey, how you doing? Dude, everybody's got the same fucking look. This, this like, br like dark hair, dark facial hair, looks like Charles, looks like me kind of look. What is going on with that? So, okay, I think I know what the issue is here. <laughs> I think it turns out... What is going on here? ...that... ...you actually can't do both methods. I think this is one of those poorly conveyed... ...things where literally the only points of either the gas thing or this... ...is to distract the guards. And so because I distracted the guards, that disabled our ability to interact with all the switches because, like, 20 minutes ago, I was able to leave the area and they fully expected me to just get the fuck out of Dodge. Oops. What the hell was that? Uh, something just popped into the right and I don't know what the hell that was about. Doctor. Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me or you'll end up the same way. Okay, uh, you need treatment, medicine professional. I don't... I can't do anything about that. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore! The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened, more 
cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Uh, that's the secret of Sarah Hawkins. It was sec Sarah Hawkins who invoked this curse. I'll In go for that. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! Destiny? What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Oh. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. What the hell is the Shambler? No! Sanders! Oh, Jesus! What the fu- Oh, well, I guess we don't have to worry about him anymore. He's just gone. What the hell? Oh my god, just snapped his neck! I got it. We should go, dude. What the fuck are we doing just staring at this? This is insane. What killed him? Well, that's... That's gotta go on the list of mental traumas. Hold on. Sanity. Oh yeah. The death of Francis Sanders. Macabre, uh, discovery. Oh, Jesus. Searching through the cellars of the Riverside Institute, Pierce entered a room that he first took for a morgue, but the advanced state of decay of the corpses that lay about the place quickly made him realize that he was wrong. Nothing could justify the presence of such carnal or charnel house in a hospital. The putrid smell and the total absence of respect for human life as witnessed by this room profoundly shocked Pierce, costing him some of his sanity. I wonder if that's like a multiple ending thing and like if you've unlocked every single mental trauma or like the vast majority of them, you get a bad ending. I mean, look at this. The ordeals you've gone through have left their mark, but still you manage as best as you can. You keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts and painful memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your mind could lead you along the path of sanity. Yeah. We're not walking away from this intact, are we? The weirdness of Francis Sanders' death went far beyond anything Pierce had ever seen. Lifted off his feet by an invisible force, the poor man's body was carried into the air before being thrown violently against the bars of his hiding place. Pierce, powerless, watched the limbs break, and Sanders' body crumble to the ground. During long moments of agony, the detective saw nothing that could explain this event. Weakened by his wounds and the operation he could remember undergoing, Pierce begins to question his ability to tell the difference between reality and the nightmares that haunt him. Well, I can say I want to get the hell out of here, so... Ugh. Farewell to this place. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <coughs> Great! Now I've got the gas affecting me as we try to leave. Damn! <coughs> the gas! Oh, and it knocks me out. Oh. My head. Later. We need to move on. <laughs> okay, Bradley saved me? Maybe? Oh boy. Things are getting. Weirder. I was gonna say they're getting weird. No, no, they're getting weirder. Chapter 6. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Holden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigned supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Holden. The companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins Mansion as a hideout. I gotta be suspicious of Bradley, but if he's helping me, he's helping me, I guess. Oh god, the visions. <gasps> Who goes there? Yeah, yeah. The a nightmare again. I need a drink. What you say is true. That is precisely why I'll find evidence. Fine. Do 
what you want. I'm just trying to reason with you. This is pleasant. I'm glad the mansion doesn't always look awful. With a little bit of lighting and hopeful music, suddenly everything changes. Maybe, maybe things won't go that bad. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. All right. Well, what's Bradley know, and what's he willing to help us How's with? How's fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Oh god, Sarah Hawkins was the object of a cult, but we can't say that. What they had me endure, I might be onto a lead, talk to Colton, talk to Bradley. This is like a, a choice, maybe. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Quite a lot of things. I think, okay, so either this is like a serious choice of like who we're supposed to trust. Uh, I'm going to talk to Colden because while it might be like a twist that, oh, the revived Bradley is actually just legitimately Bradley and he doesn't remember things, but he's still trustworthy. Uh, I'm gonna go and hope that they don't do the twist that Colden is actually pretty crazy herself. Okay, it's actually- okay, okay, okay. We, uh, we're totally fine. It, it, it's it's legit legitimately just a, a branching conversation path. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Everything, Miss Colden. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? It's because of what they've seen, what they've come in contact to, okay? They probably legitimately helped me. Uh, they probably helped my leg heal and bring me back from probably the verge of death or outright death. But they did it through pretty illegitimate means, obviously. Illegitimate means that they've discovered by all their grotesque experiments with the occult and all the dead people. Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. 
What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Listen, Fuller said to Sanders before Sanders died that pain is information. He's causing all these terrible things to happen so he can find out more about how everybody works and what can work on people. <sighs> I wish I could say this. One thing that's weird about these options is, first off, we shouldn't be seeing these uh, if I literally don't know the option, but it's here. But second off, what else was I supposed to find? Maybe I missed a few books? Maybe I fis missed some, uh, like, occult things? Because... I don't have the medicine thing here. Maybe I just don't have the professionalism? I'm not sure. We have investigative maxed out, so that will never be an issue. You and Dr. Colden. Hmm, hold on. We'll, we'll talk about that later. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Yeah, let's go for this. I found a dark water PD badge. Lost a colleague recently? What the? Bradley. Ethan? I'm all right. I just had a... That's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. A blood encrusted badge. Danger, believe me. What can we do, Pierce? Okay, so, uh... This actually might legitimately be a revived Bradley, but a Bradley who was brought back using dark, culty ways. I don't know the exact words to use for it. I was going to say magic, but I don't know if it's magic, per se. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Don't you want to just go over to the tunnel? I mean... There's a lot to figure out there. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Okay. I should have raised up psychology rather than investigation. It was going to be my general options. Maybe four out of five would have worked for this. They're probably... They probably had a thing in the past, and that's why they're particularly, you know, they want to work together, but they at the same time are against each other. Okay. I might be on to a lead. I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. He called him the Shambler. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? A lot, this man. This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? 
How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? What? No, that's not Francis what I was saying. Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. Huh. <laughs> An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Uh, ooh, that's a good point. What do we want here? The thing is, I don't know Irene Sanders. I'm the, I'm a kind of person who... Uh, I like to know a little bit more details before I try to make a choice about things outright, right? Like, I want to tell her the truth. That's my natural inclination, to be truthful and honest. But if she's gonna, like, stab me in the face if I tell her her husband's dead, then, uh, I mean, I prefer an unstabbed face over being a goody two-shoes. So, I mean, it's, uh... It's a, it's a choice. It would depend on if Irene Sadler is, or Sanders, is any kind of a reasonable person. Like, Silas. I wouldn't, I would be a little bit wary about telling Silas the truth about Sarah Hawkins and all of Charles Hawkins stuff. He might not take it too well. So, uh, I'm going to just say better for right. the truth. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, so I guess now we have to head back down and try and talk to people and then there's all this in theory, Francis Sanders was a renowned art collector. I must question his widow, Irene Sanders, to know more about his links with Sarah St. Hawkins and to discover the identity of the visitor he talked about before he died. The Sanders and, Hawk and Sarah Hawkins uh, were close. It's undeniable. The widow didn't tell me everything, but her house speaks for her. Everything began with Francis Sanders' obsession with the Shambler, an exceptional painting in more ways than one. Wait a second. <laughs> I haven't talked to the widow. So, uh, I don't know what the hell this is about. Okay. What kind of information do we have on everybody? Here we have the deceased Francis Sanders. Then we have Dr. Fuller. 52, wow, he's pretty old. There's Mary Colden, then there's Bradley. <laughs> we have Charles Hawkins here with part of his mutated face. Charles Hawkins is alive? Despite its crude and deformed appearance, this thing looked like Hawkins. He attacked Bradley after he recognized him. What could have happened to Charles on the night of the fire? I've never seen a Major Burns victim in such a state. Something's not right. Well, he probably burned himself, maybe even died, and then they tried to bring him back with occult magic, and look what ended up happening. Let's see, a tribe of men, worshippers of the sea and its benefits, landed on the shores of an island surrounded by dark waters. They were discovered by the creature some call the Devourer of Whales. For years, the creature hunted them down in their dreams, until their weakened minds surrendered. Following the creature's orders, they sunk into the dark waters surrounding the island and never came back. Extract taken from the Malleus Bestiarium by Abigail G. That's awful. Ceremonial Circle. If the creature is not yet anchored in our dimension, an expulsion ritual might work. As long as the person performing it makes sure that he integrates the Elder Sign among the glyphs that make up the ceremonial circle. Be careful though, because the works that describe the creation of such circles are not all of proven reliability. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. I mean, I got a pretty good general Let gist. Let us go now and learn the truth. The other night's events are still confused in my head. So... Sarah Hawkins gets all these visions, yeah? She gets all these visions growing up because she, she has some kind of latent general connection to the Elder Gods. 
And then she does her paintings. It connects her more and more. She sees more and more visions. And eventually that connection leads her to Charles Hawkins. Charles Hawkins is from Darkwater and Darkwater has already had possibly hundreds of years of connections with the elder gods through the old families. And so they ended up kind of feedback looping into each other to accelerate the process of trying to bring back something from other dimensions. And that caused a lot of shenanigans to happen. But we'll have to see exactly how those shenanigans play out. <laughs> 